Now that you are an automation master, let's continue to improve our workflow. Sometimes we might want to see the data in our board presented in a different format than simply in a table, or to see a drilled down version of the table to zoom in on what's important. The board views can help us here. Board views allow you to visualize your board's information in different ways. Let's take a look in the view center. There are lots of different views to choose from, like timeline, calendar, cards, Kanban, and more. Of course, it will depend on your workflow as to which views will be more or less relevant. In the first step of the qualification process, we'll be scheduling lots of telephone interviews with applicants, so I'd love to see all of them in a calendar. Sure, let's add this now. You can also create views to show a subset of the data in the table view using the filters. It will be helpful for me to see only the qualified applicants so I can see who to enter into the lottery. So let's create a view of this. You got it! I'll choose to filter the board by groups and choose the qualified applicant group here. Also, once you have created a filtered view, you can always come back to it later by saving it. Do you have any other ways you might want to filter the board? I'd like each doctor and wellness expert to see only the applicants assigned to them. Sure! Let's add another table view from here and then use the advanced filter. Since we want to show either the physical evaluation or wellness review owners, just the applicants that they are assigned to, we can apply the Me Dynamic filter to both columns and use an OR condition in between. The view will then change depending on which user is looking at it. Cool! I don't think the doctor or wellness experts need to see the telephone interview columns as the applicant has already passed this stage, so let's hide them? Good idea! That's going to keep things really clean. I'll use the Hide Columns feature and untick the columns which I want to remove from this view of the board. Then, I will save this version of the table to this view. Great! That was nice and easy. It was! Let's wrap this up. In this video, we've introduced views, both from the View Center and using the Board Filter. In the next video, we'll discover how to report on your board.